Oh, right. Yeah, yeah three. Three. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. You know, Christian, I've been on a, a few movie sets, and the one thing I really like is they have really great food. Now, with this movie, you were in three different countries. Now, which country, which film sets had the best, uh, best chow? Actually, Paris did. Paris, every night, well, my mom was kind of happy with the food, too, because they had, everyone was happy. They had wine and everything for the adults, and there was, like, pasta every night, and they had desserts and bread, and you actually sit down in this van, but it, it wasn't like a van, it was like a little restaurant that you travel around in. And there was tons of tables, and there was all this stuff playing out. It was just like the most, I don't know, it was really cool. It was just, and they, it was, it was like being at a restaurant. Well, you know, like a lot of actors, you started out doing commercials. And when you do a commercial, you have to do the same thing over and over again. What is the worst thing that you had to do over and over again for a commercial? Kissing Brad. Well, oh, oh no, for, for Rampart. Yeah. Okay, um, over and over again for a commercial. Okay. Um, spilling grape jelly on myself, all over myself, every single time. What was that for? Well, it's just grape jelly. <laughs> so how did you handle that? I had, to, I had, I had this um, jelly, a, a big clump of jelly, like not spread it on a piece of toast, and each time I had to pour it down on this white blouse and say, uh-oh. <laughs> it was really, it got sick. I got sick of it, because each time they would have to change my, my blouse. Right. You know, a, a couple of years ago, I had two crowns put on my teeth. <laughs> and it was really strange because I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk correctly for a few days. Now with uh, your fangs, now how many tests do they do? Like what kind of different combinations do they do they work on your oh, teeth for like, that? The, well, first they did it like you know when when you're at the dentist and you get that mold thing done, and um, they did that once, and then they molded my teeth, and then they had my long set for when I was biting and my short set for when I wasn't fighting. And so then, actually when I put it in, I could talk just normal. I, I was fine with them. Do, do you ever get the urge to just walk around on the street with them? And Not at all. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I was curious, you're, uh, how familiar were you with Tom Cruise before you made the movie? Oh, well, I, 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 I had watched Cocktail and A Few Good Men, some of his other movies. That's how familiar I was with him. And I, um, uh, it was an honor to meet him, too. Yeah. Well, how did your, I mean, you're an actress, so you worked with m movie stars before. Mm -hmm. How did your friends react when you told them Oh, that? they liked, they liked that I was doing this. Mm -hmm. They they had fun with it. Yeah. Do they do they want you to bring back autographs, that type uh, of yeah, thing? Yeah, all this stuff. But, but I hate asking for autographs. I don't like it. I don't, I just, I just don't like it. Yeah, um, yeah they're excited, and um, they're all going to see it. Yeah. Now, you, uh, you, partake in some liquid refreshment in this uh, movie. Yeah. Now, I, I, I couldn't help but wonder, <laughs> but what exactly was that made of? Uh, it was a syrup with extra dye of red in it and sugar and all this junk. It was absolutely disgusting. It was the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. Mm. And it was a great transformation scene when we see you uh, with the curls. Did that take a little getting used to seeing yourself in curls? Uh, well, actually, the transformation part, they had to do that over and over again because it, it was, it was it, you had to do it with this special camera and I had to like lift up my head and everything like so still and I, each time I'd have to go back in the same spot of the pillow, and that was a pain. But um, actually, n no, because through the transformation, we did all the scenes practically with curly hair before we even got to that first scene. Um, so I was used to it. And plus, when I was a little girl, my hair was always curly. All right. so. okay, and, and one final question is we're doing a story on the mementos that actors keep from their movies. Over the years, like what kind of souvenirs do you keep? Well, um, I haven't kept anything from my past movies, but um, in Truth the Vampire, I have my teeth in a little coffin that Carol Schwartz, my makeup artist, made, made for me. And I got a beautiful necklace from um, Chan. My, my hairdresser, and um, I got lots of things from Tom. I got this beautiful photo album with all the um, pictures from the movie, mm. and um, I got a beautiful bracelet from Neil Redman and Stephen. It's so beautiful, and um, it's like golden with little hearts and diamonds in it. 
And I got lots of things from Vampire and then from Little Women too. Um, Amy always, my character, always used to wear a little clothespin on her nose because she wanted a perfect nose. And so I got my clothespin and stuff like that. You're great. All right. All right. Thank you. Very much. You're very good at this. I hope, uh, I hope your career keeps moving forward because it's a, a, a real pleasure talking with you. Thank you.